Hi, this is Katie with CraftingWithKatie.com and today I'm going to be making a gift card holder in the shape of a coffee mug. So I'm going to be using the Cheerful Seasons um, Cricut cartridge which is made by Creative Memories and this is the cut that I'm going to be using. And to make this I'm going to not use the shadow but I'll use the main cut and the layer and you'll actually see I'm going to do some, actually cut this twice one time welding a rectangle to it and that's going to be the gift card holder and then I'll be cutting this layer as well. Okay, when I played around with this a little bit I found that um, this would work the best if I made my height of my coffee mug eight and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what I will need is let me get on the right cartridge Okay, cheerful seasons. So what I'm going to need is this main cut of the coffee mug and I'm going to need it twice. So let me show you why that's the case. What I'm going to do is make this insert for my gift card and I'll be putting a coffee card in it but here's a Nordstrom's card just to show you. So it'll come out, this will slide out of the mug and you can see the card will fit just perfectly and there'll be a place to write a message. Okay, so when I go back to my mat Oops. I'll have two of these. I'm actually going to just make sure they're ungrouped. And I'm going to take this one on the right. This is going to be the one I connect. And it's going to need to go about as far up as I can because this is going to have to be pretty tall to accommodate the gift card. So that's good. And when I measured the gift card, it was close to three and a half inches long. So what I'm going to do now is put on my act real size button and change my height to seven inches. So that'll let me fold it in half and the gift card will tuck into it. And I'm gonna to go to Don Juan and grab a rectangle. So this is just the part where I'll be attaching my gift card. So if I hit shift on Don Juan, there's a rectangle right here. So there's my rectangle. It's seven inches in height. I'm going to unlink the height and the width so I can change my width because when I measured my gift card I found that two and a quarter inches would be a good size. There we go. So now what I want to do is center this on the mug and bring it down as far as possible. That's perfect. So I'm going to group these two. I'm going to weld them. And then when I do the eyeball, you can see how it's going to cut. So you can see it's going to still have the side part of the mug, but that'll be really easy to cut off with my paper trimmer to just make it a straight line on both sides. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to just hide the first one. And I'm going to take my real dial size off. And go back to eight and a half inches for height to get the layers for the mug. So if I go back to the Cheerful Seasons cartridge, oops, I'm not going to take the shadow, so I have that, so I just need to go to layer. Get this layer and hit shift and get this layer. All right, so those are the four pieces I'm going to need, so I'll go ahead and cut them out. Okay, so I've done some of my cutting, and um, for my mug, I used this paper, it was from the DCWV Summer Dream Stack from last summer, which I just love. I bought a couple of them, I liked it so much. And then I cut this in a rustic cream. So I will be using the steam from this and it, I'll be cutting it apart and I could use this behind this layer here but I just feel like the polka dots don't show up so well and I, when I put it over a dark brown I just liked the look a lot better. So I'm going to recut just this shape right here but I'm going to just take my gypsy and zoom in a bit for you and I'm going to go to the advanced tab and then click this button and this is going to let me hide all of the circles so that the layer behind it is just going to have 
uh, the mug shape and not the circles cut out of it. So it'll cut out just like that. So I'm going to cut that in brown. Okay, I've got all of my layers now and I'm going to start with this piece. This is where I welded my rectangle and I'm just going to use my paper cutter to trim off the edges so it just makes a straight line from where the rectangle is. Okay, and then I'll just do the side as well. Okay, so there's that piece. Now for my steam, I'm actually not going to be using the cut part of it, just the steam. So I'm going to cut along here. I'm going to cut off this side. Okay, so that I don't need anymore. And this is going to attach up here. And then I will be folding this part up for my card, for my gift card. All right. So now you can see over here, since the steam is attached to this, I don't need it on the back of my mug. So I'm also going to cut this off. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is just stop and ink all of my edges and then I'll come back to assemble this. All right, I went ahead and inked these up using some Colorbox Cat's Eye Chalk Ink and I adhered uh, my steam to this brown piece and I adhered my coffee cup to the brown piece I made with the circles the brown part I had hid the circles. And so the next step is to connect these two together. And I'm just going to want to do this along the edges so that I can slip my gift card into the center. So I'm going to use my Scotch Quick Dry, which is what I use for everything. Okay, and we'll just connect these two. And then I'm just going to let that dry for a bit before I work on putting that in. And I'll figure out what I want to do for the front of it. So I just looked over at my mug and realized I did something pretty silly. I actually put some glue right here on the back of this. And I don't want that because it's where I slip it in. But luckily I was able to pull it apart and it didn't um, tear or anything. And it works. it's not sticky on the inside. So this is where um, the gift card will go just slide right into here. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut a flower to embellish my mug. And I chose this one from the Kate's ABC's cartridge. Although I'm not going to use the stem, I just want the flower with all of its layers. So I've got my gypsy and I just um, added another layer and hid the other ones. And I decided I want my flower to be about one and a half inches. And I'm going to start off with it on a uh, real size because otherwise I think it would include the entire stem and my actual flower would be tiny. So I'll make that 1.5 inches. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and find Kate's ABCs. And there it is. And then I'll look for that flower, which is, oh, it's the last, is it the very last? Yeah, the last one on there. So I'm going to hit shift to get the flower without the stem and go back to my mat. And the reason I'm doing that is I need to take off the real size. If I don't, it's going to make every layer one and a half inches, which I don't want. I want everything proportionate. So you can see actually when you take off the real size, it's set at 4.05 inches because that's how tall it would have been if it had the stem. So now I can go back to the mat, 
I mean to the overlay and choose the other layers. So I'll take off the shift, go to layer one, get that layer, put on the shift, get the next layer. And I'm going to go to layer two, get that one, put on the shift, and get that one. So you can see there's all of my different layers. So now if I hit my button here to ungroup them, I tend to kind of move around which section of my mat I'm going to use at a time. And if my mat's pretty sticky, I can get away with using little two inch squares of different colors so I don't waste paper. So what I'm doing now is just arranging these into little two inch squares that are next to each other. Because if they're next to each other, the paper is less likely to shift. Get this last tiny one. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use that one. Okay, so I'm going to choose my colors now and then just go ahead and cut those out and put my flower together. Alright, so the way I'm going to embellish this is first I have the sentiment that I stamped with a brand new stamp set from My Creative Time and it's called My Favorite Sayings. Isn't that so cute? With a little caffeine I can rule the world. So I'm going to be putting that on here. I just went ahead and cut the um, some cream card stock about the size that I thought would match it. I usually just measure the stamps and then I cut it and inked around the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on here. I'm going to put this right here. And then this is the flower that I cut from Kate's ABCs. And I'm going to put this here, but I'm going to pop it up a little bit. So I have these little pop dot square things. Let's put maybe four of them on here. And this stamp set has really cute sayings on here. It has, um, I love you with all my heart. What would I do without you? I love crafting caffeine and chocolate. Have a great day. You are my world. All sorts of fun things you can use. I guess they're all Emma's favorite sayings. So we'll just pop this right here. So cute. And then I found a coffee card. So this is a Pete's coffee card. And I'm just going to use a couple of glue dots to adhere it. And then that'll make it really easy for the recipient to just pull it off. So I'll just put one here. And one on the other end. And I'll just stick this on. There. And so, this just slides right in. And there we go. Our little coffee gift card holder. Thanks so much for watching and um, for information on all of the supplies I used, you can stop by at my blog, craftingwithkatie.com. Bye.